Hey boys and girls, uh, we are going to review what we did the, the week before spring break and we're, this is, video is going to tell you what you're going to be doing for this week and this lesson. So let's kind of review. So we talked about in the video last week, two weeks ago, uh, we talked about something called the staff. The staff is where we write music. And the staff has five lines, one, two, three, four, five, and four spaces, one, two, three, four. Now, we talked about the treble clef, which looks something like this. And when you see the treble clef, you're, it's basically telling you that you're playing higher pitches or higher notes. Um, and we're gonna focus this week on just the five line notes in the treble clef staff. So the first line, which is at the bottom, that's always gonna be the letter E. The second line is always going to be the letter G. The third line, letter B. The fourth line, letter D. And the fifth line, letter F. So the five line notes in the treble clef staff, they are E, G, B, D and F. What you're gonna do this week to help you remember the five line notes, you're gonna be creating a story based on E, G, B, D, F. Now, let me back up for a second. There's a phrase that I learned growing up that will help me to remember the five line notes. The phrase that I learned was, every good boy does fine. Every good boy does fine, E, G, B, D, F. That's how I learned them, it helps me to remember. You're gonna come up with your own phrase. And that phrase is gonna be your title of your story, your E, G, B, D, F story. Now I have a sample here to give you an idea of what you're doing. So in this story, the phrase that they came up with is elderly grandmas bake delicious food. Elderly grandmas bake delicious food. So EGBDF. That's the title of their story. And you also will have a list of nouns that begin with either E, G, B, D, or F. A list of verbs to help you. And a list of descriptive or adjectives that begin with E, G, B, D, or F. So this will, these three papers will help give you an idea of what your phrase or your title should be. And here's the story. It says, grandmas bake the tastiest treats. They know how to make chocolate chip pancakes, sugar cookies with frosting, apple crisp, homemade ice cream, and chocolate cake with chocolate frosting. It seems like the older they get, the more they know how to make. Maybe there's a special grandma club or grandma baking convention where they learn all about these delicious treats. I'm not sure where they learn, but I know that elderly grandmas bake delicious food. So what you're gonna do this week, you're gonna use these charts to help give you ideas for the title of your story, and then you're gonna write your story based on what you chose for E, G, B, D, F. If this is optional, you can somehow draw a picture into the, the Google Doc or paste pictures from the internet that go with your story, things like that. But this is a drawing of grandma pulling something delicious out of the oven. Okay, so again, this week, you are going to come up with a title of your EGBDF story using these charts. You're going to write your story and then optional, figure out how to draw or put some pictures in there, okay? Any questions, just comment in our Google Classroom. Good luck, and I can't wait to read all your stories. Bye-bye.